2013 was a great run. Um, we peaked at the right time. Our guys were playing the best baseball of the season in May, and particularly the, the last couple weeks. Um, played well in the conference tournament, and then kept it rolling into the regionals. And although we lost twice and were eliminated, we played really good baseball. And I think that's, you know, it really hasn't changed our expectations too much for this coming season. Our expectations are the same each and every year. We want to compete for a conference championship, both regular season and postseason. Um, and so, you know, even even though we're coming off a championship season, I think our guys are are, are focused and committed to just repeating what we did last year. Uh, we want to prove uh, to the entire country that we're capable of beating uh, big time schools and uh, just begin our path to another conference championship. I think we can give, you know, Duke a run for their money and all the other schools we'll be playing this year. Because at the end of the day, we think, you know, we line up our guys against their guys and we'll have just as good of a shot. We, we have this year that I'm very happy with in the pitching staff is great balance and great depth. And, and I think it could actually be a strength for us at the end of the year. Jack Rogala returning and becoming the ace of our staff um, is a great situation for us. He was really an ace last year on a team that had uh, a 1A and a 1B guy in the mound. So the fact that he pitched in the opening game in the regionals last year and pitched as well as he did against NC State, um, I think the team and the coaching staff has a tremendous amount of confidence in Jack. In the pitching department specifically, I think, I think we're going to be fine. Um, honestly, probably better than fine. Uh, Jay Kreitz. Uh, he's had, had an unbelievable year last year. Um, Mike Urbanski uh, has a lot of hype on him before this season, and I think he's going to fulfill it. Um, Jack, obviously, is as much of a lock as you're going to find um, in Division One baseball. I'm not sure how many programs can actually say that they've had the same, you know, second baseman and shortstop for four straight years. Those guys, I, I, I truly think they, they know each other so well on the field. They, they know exactly the type of feeds they want from each other when turning to double play. They know each other's range and what their strengths are and, and what their few weaknesses might be. But it's a special double play situation. I think it's, it's a really a big reason why we finished in the top 30 last year in, in, uh, in team defense. And Jake, you know, obviously showed that he can be the type of hitter that's pretty patient. You know, he had one of the top on-base percentages in the country last year. Um, so he doesn't chase bad pitches. He's patient. He, he, he takes what the pitchers give him. Um, and, and that's what you expect out of, you know, probably the best hitter in the conference. My approach is to take a lot of pitches and work the count, um, look for a pitch I could hit because we have plenty of guys in our lineup who could hit, and I'm just as confident as, as confident in them as I am in myself. So I just want to get way better than I was last year. I think there's a lot of room for improvement. And again, I don't think the preseason, um, I don't think it's extremely credible. I, anything could happen in the season. And we have plenty of guys on this team who could be player of the year. It's not just me. But um, to really be able to look at the lineup and say, an opening day at Duke, it, it, it can, could conceivably be the very same lineup that we started against NC State in the regionals last year. I think it's very rare. Um, and that goes from all position players to DH to the, the starter on the mound. Um, I, that's something new to us. And, and I just think it's you know, a credit to our guys, the way that uh, they, they've performed and worked hard, a credit to the coaching staff for the way we've recruited players. And um, I just think the program's in a pretty good place right now. I feel like this team is, is as good as we've had and is as ready to, to make a run at kind of repeating than I've seen in the conference come along in the last few years.